visit astlessons.com for lyrics and chords, sheet music, tablatures, useful links, and much more. Hey there, so my name is Robert, and for this video I will teach Dear Porcupines by Melanie Martinez. Now, as of this moment, it's still an unreleased song, so I've watched six live versions for this video. So on all of them, she played an A minor with the capo on the 4th fret, and overall, there's just small differences. So, what varies? It's mostly the timing and tempo, so you should keep that in mind, depending on what performance you have watched. But the version that I focused on is linked in the description, and that shows the video with the most views at the time. So firstly, let's check the chords, and it's the same four all through, so if you know them already, just skip the strumming. So first up is an A minor, that's skipping top string, with open A string, then middle finger, 2nd fret D string, ring finger, 2nd fret G string, and index finger, 1st fret B string. And over C, just take ring finger, and place it 3rd fret, A string, and then strum the same. And then for the next chord, she play F major 7 with the C bass note. That's still skipping first, and keeping ring finger and index finger from C. And then place little finger, 3rd fret, D string, and middle finger, 2nd fret, G string. If that's too hard, you can also play a normal F major 7, which is like a C, but moving these two, one string down, the strumming last four strings. And I guess you can also play a normal F if you prefer, that's barring first fret, with ring finger, third fret A string little finger, 3rd fret D string, and middle finger, 2nd fret G string. And now for the last chord, she sometimes play a normal E, which is like A minor, but move one step up and strumming all. times she playing E7 instead, which I prefer. And for this one, let's take the E and release ring finger.
Then the strumming is kind of built around the off beats, which when counting is the ends. And mostly, she plays the cato. That's in simple term, not letting chords ring. So number one, that's used the most, is playing each end, as well as the first beat. So slowly. One. Counting a bit faster. And now slowly. And then for number two, which is used way less, you skip the first down. One. So on one chord, it's really easy, but the trouble with this one is making a switch, that's now on one. So for example, A minor to C, slowly. This one she often plays on the non singing parts. And once again. Slowly. And also, besides the patterns, you like to strum once and pause, which is mostly done on E or E7. And mostly, she play each chord for four beats, which means either one round of a pattern, or when stopping, counting the four. One and two and three and four and. And the only part that's different is the courses. So on these, she played two beats instead, which was strumming, means playing the first half of a pattern. So for example, on number one, you play like this with the up strum. And then after the switch, you start over. So like this. Obviously, when stopping instead, you instead count to two. 